Hi, I'm Taz Monopoly, cosmetic chemist and trainee here at the Institute of Personal Care Science. And today I'm going to show you how to make a hyperpigmentation serum using a vitamin A alternative. Now let me show you how to put it together. Okay, so starting off here, I have my water phase. Now to this, I'm going to be adding um, some allantoin. This is a nice anti-irritant soothing material as we are using something that's highly active. So I'm going to use that in there. It's also good for moisturization as well. Next, I'm going to be adding some Ceramide Complex by CLR. Again, this is going to add some moisturization to the skin and also help the skin barrier. And now for my uh, key ingredient. So this is the Retinard by Algative. So this is our vitamin A alternative. Now, this has lots of different types of skin benefits. It's good for anti-aging, so reducing uh, fine lines and wrinkles. It's also good to use in anti-acne products as it reduces the sebum production. It's also really good at reducing pigmentation and evening out the skin tone and also reduces redness and calms the skin as well. Now, this works synergistically with retinol and it also outperforms Bacchiol as well. It has um, a retinoid-like structure, um, but it has better performance and no side effects. It's also really suitable for sensitive skin and sunscreen formulations. And it's also got some really good clinical data to prove uh, these claims as well. So just bringing up on the screen here, the anti-aging uh, wrinkle depth, you can see some results there just after a couple of days with um, the retinart versus uh, retinol. You can see in the middle there the age spots, so the hyperpigmentation, so 2% of the retin art uh, was used versus 0.3% uh, of the retinol. So you can see there was a 29.7% reduction in hyperpigmentation versus 26% of retinol. So that's a big difference there. And just bringing up some other data here, so you can see here that this was done to uh, even out the skin tone. So retina re reduces and evens out hyperpigmentation for naturally radiant skin and also age spots. So you can see here after 28 days, um, there was a reduction in dark spots. There was also an improvement with the complexion evenness as well. And there's some before and after photos here of uh, zero days versus 28 and 56 of retin art versus the Bacchiol. So it's got some really good data there for lots of different things, but we are focusing on the hyperpigmentation and evening out the, the skin tone and the dark spots with this one. Now to bring my serum together, I am going to be adding a gum. So in my bowl here, I have some propane gel. This is uh, nice and light. It's also non-sticky and this is a humectant. So it's going to protect our skin from transepidermal water loss. So it's going to help create suppleness, hydration and moisturization to the skin. And on my little watch glass here, I have some of the Descent Xanthum. So this is a really good grade of Xanthum gum. So we're just going to slurry that in our propane diol prior to adding that to our water. Just make sure it's a nice smooth slurry before adding it to your water phase, otherwise you will get fish eyes. So as you can see, a low viscosity clear gel has started to form here, which is perfect for our serum. Now I'm going to go ahead and add a few added extras. So I've got some essential oils here. I'm just using a nice blend of some citrus scents there. You can of course use your own or a fragrance. I've got some antioxidant, some tocopherol mixed. I've also got some squalane here. So this is going to add some emolliency um, to our serum without making it too heavy and greasy as it's quite light uh, in, in skin feel. It's really good for anti-aging as well. I'm going to add my uh, glycerin base extract. I've just got some aloe vera and of course my preservative as well. Okay, so we're just going to check and adjust our pH. And as always, we're just going to cover and leave it sit overnight just to check for any signs of instability. And we're just going to give it one final stir as well the next day. Okay, and here is what our serum is like the next day. As you can see, it's remained really nice and stable. I'm just going to give that a little final stir. 
just make sure the gum's nice and hydrated. That's so nice and beautifully light in texture. Non-sticky, it's got a good emolliency, but it's not heavy and greasy, so it's not leaving a greasy, he heavy residue, but it's leaving a really nice, soft, velvety touch on the skin. Well, there you go. That's how super easy it is to put together a hyperpigmentation serum using a vitamin A alternative. If you enjoyed today's video, please give it a thumbs up. Leave any questions in the comments below. And as always, don't forget to subscribe to receive notification on the rest of our videos. Happy formulating.